it's a project that we started to develop uh, now three years ago, uh, still has at least a couple of years of uh, engineering and permitting uh, in front of us. It's a two plus two gigawatt uh, of power cables uh, coming from Tunisia and Algeria and landing in the northern part of Italy. We land in the northern part of Italy because of the reason I explained before, because mm. that's where the grid is resilient, that's where demand is, and that's where I'm also, through the existing infrastructure in place, able to deliver that power uh, to the benefit of Swiss, German, Austrian, or other European clients. Uh, the technology is a proven technology. Uh, the cable is a cable that, in certain parts, will reach uh, more than 2,000 meters of depth. But today there is available technology that can easily afford that type of uh, death uh, without energy losses. And that's mm. one of the reasons why projects like this today can be competitive, because you get very little dispersion through the journey. Uh, we are also taking care of the development of the greenfield um, uh, renewable energy in North Africa. Uh, and we will be working with uh, uh, partners along the way. We're talking about regeneration that include a combination of uh, wind, solar, and battery storage in order to have a profile of production that effectively is going to be base load. And as a base load power delivered in Europe, that's what industrial clients need because this, uh, with the entrance of the CBAM on one side and with the ETS system on the other, European industrial clients are penalized in their own final prices by the carbon content uh, of their energy mix. And so mm. there is a great surge or increased demand, so to speak, of industrial by industrial clients of green PPA, and that's what Medlink is there for. Uh, the project is uh, also uh, developed with the objective to create value for the hosting countries in Africa, because this is in the way we think about it and is an example of a new cooperation or a new partnership uh, approach. And so part of the generation that we are going to develop will be left in countries for local industries mm -hmm. in order to help them against the CBAM. And so aside from the traditional local content that uh, it's always important to have in terms of local employment and local suppliers, the other element that we are going to be uh, living on, on, on the ground is literally power for consumption at competitive uh, costs for local industrial. And we think that uh, this is one of the reasons why we, we really found uh, strong support by the governments of the hosting countries in addition to, to Italy. The project is uh, a global gateway flagship project and uh, thanks to the support of the Italian government, but it's also been receiving formal letter of support by the German and the Austrian uh, governments as well, exactly for the reason I just explained, because they can benefit indirectly from this cheap power uh, coming through their uh, to their customers and providing a good and a very competitive complement to, to what may land in Germany, for example, through the offshore wind. Mm -hmm. And where have you reached today in terms of the financing and uh, development permitting of the project? Yeah, we we uh, we are completed the basis of design. Uh, we are co in conversation uh, on on the concession terms uh, with the hosting countries. Uh, we have started the permitting on the Italian side with all the um, pre prerequisites that are uh, that we are obliged to comply with, and that are these are the two things that will take quite some time because both the permitting on the Italian landing point side as well as the wind measurement campaign consequence of the agreement with the hosting counters will take uh, at least a year and a half. Uh, we are already progressing with the identification of the uh, key suppliers, particularly on the long lead items. Uh, we will finalize uh, the preferred suppliers probably in the first part of next year, uh, whilst we're moving from a long list to a short list during the course of 2025. So we are currently perfectly on track for a final investment decision uh, by the end of, uh, of uh, 2027. But of course, there are a number of uh, uh, complexities that we need to work through. And, and as, as it is always the case with this type of project, uh, we have experience of integrated energy project. I mean, when, when I was back at, uh, at SNAM, I was involved into the mm. transatlantic pipeline which went through several countries uh, and also included a, an offshore um, uh, tr uh, piece. Mm. And this is a, a job that requires an everyday push and everyday effort. And so we are very 
energetic and ready to keep pushing every day. And we think that we can deliver the first interconnector in the Met and open the way to more projects like this uh, and in time for where you need to scale up its uh, um, green energy uh, footprint and renewable footprint in, in Europe and giving a substantial contribution to that.